Hi, I'm Fennec Ridley. I'm an open water swimmer, adventure swimmer, and ice swimmer based in Northumberland. Where I grew up and uh, I spent a lot of my time traveling around Northumberland and swimming different parts. There's not many other places like Northumberland to swim. It's, it is really, we've got loads of lovely water. I'm not done exploring really. It's one of, definitely one of my favorite places to swim. The thing I like about Sweet Hope is the quality of water, but also the sand entry is a bit of a luxury because walking in, no rocks, it's just a lovely entry. And also it's really, really sheltered. So majority of the time it's quite flat and it heats up quite well as well during the, in the summer. But also in the winter, because it's nice and shallow, it actually gets cold quick as well and ice is over. So I think one of the biggest things as well about swimming here is the ice. In fact, the fact that ice is over the whole lake and we get to swim in the ice. Swimming in the summer, I absolutely love swimming in the summer. The warm water, but also I love swimming in the winter as well. And there's a real different buzz when we skin swim, which is just in the swimming trunks in the winter and swimming in the ice. So swimming below five degrees down to one degree and just below and smashing the ice open. That's a very, that's a huge addiction now after many years of, of training and practice. And it's amazing to be able to actually pass that knowledge on and actually coach people here in Sweet Hope. Coaching is just this last few years has been really big for me because bringing new people into the open water and introducing to wild swimming and skin swimming and also bringing the kids into the open water from the swimming pool, helping with that transition. It's been fantastic. It's uh, something that I don't really, it doesn't feel like a job. It feels like an, a massive extension to what I love doing anyway. So it becomes another level of addiction. So at the moment, the, every year we're getting a massive increase of uh, more open water swimmers and wild swimmers and people coming onto the scene of like wanting to be in the water. But I think one of the biggest things is about the mental health benefits of actually being in uh, wild swimming. And lots of people are actually starting to understand now that with science, we've actually started proving that being in that water not you know even with the wetsuit on it's got huge benefits health and um, being able to actually have a lovely release because we do spend so much time like working full force always doing the same routine and we don't really get the switch off and one of the things i like is that you can't really relax when you go to bed but this has another percentage of being relaxed and switching off you don't really get a choice when you walk in the water. Everything just, it's off. And it just, it feels like nothing. Everything else has been left behind on the shore. And when you come out, it's been re-switched on with a, a new a new battery in, in a sense. A new, a new level of energy that feels refreshing and you get, a, you get that new buzz. But yeah, it's, it's something that everybody is starting to get addicted, addicted to and they see their friends do it and they go, yeah, I, I want to do that as well. They're, they're looking really happy in the water. And they, they see the photographs of people swimming and having fun and smiling. And it's, I think there's a lot of that drawing people in.